A good calorimeter is a must if you want students to understand thermodynamics and heat exchange between liquids at different temperatures or phase change. The components of this electric calorimeter are a cover with a stir rod attached and a hole for you to place the thermometer into. There are two posts with a 3 ohm resistor coil between them. A cap in case you do not want to use the electric coil. The calorimeter itself has a 200 milliliter capacity aluminum container and the inside has styrofoam to help insulate and keep the heat inside so you don't lose anything to the environment. If you want to do a simple combination of hot water and cold water you can simply remove the electric component and it comes with a cap so you can prevent any excess heat loss and then you can use the same cap to add in your hot water or cold water or add in chunks of ice to your experiment and then cover it. So here's the general setup. I have a 6 volt DC power supply attached to the top terminals. Just to make the display a little easier I have a digital thermometer probe submerged in there. Okay, I've turned on the power supply and you can see that the temperature is increasing as the heat and energy from the coils is increasing the temperature of the water. And at this rate I get about a one degree change every 15 seconds. The calorimeter is absolutely an essential piece of equipment if you want to properly study thermodynamics. Whether it's the specific heat of a liquid, the heat exchange between hot and cold water, or the melting point of ice in studying heat diffusion. Here are the specifications of this particular calorimeter. The fact that this is insulated with styrofoam helps this keep better heat insulation than other models. The ability to use it as an electric or a normal calorimeter gives you a broader range of use for both introductory and advanced classes.